I have almost 30 more 132 scale F4s in the collection. All of you have seen these, but I had to reclassify the collection. Put the RFs and Gs and Bs and Js in a different places. I tried to put them together, all together in the models, different models. So here it is. There's C's, there is some RFs, and these are the test bed airplanes. Most of these are J's on the middle, and there are some E's and C's on the bottom. As you see, these are the, the first F4s ever made. And the bottom a bunch of J squadrons. There's C's in, in the middle, and there is some E's, and there is Air Force on the bottom, three S's. And here we are, there's so much more J's and squadrons and Marines. There are some Air Force. There are some G's. It's a beautiful aircraft. So, and there is my Japanese collection. There are my Israeli ones, I even have a patch. Ed gave it to me, and these are all Ed's, Ed Okun's aircraft. Those are my UK aircraft, British. And, and there are some E's from 388 Tactical Fighter. 388 tactical fighter wing those are three C's and these are the you know the Zot decal C's and there is more of it here with all napalms and there is more C's from Air Force and that is the last F4 ever built 5057 Phantom that was done by Paul Stoner there is more F4s Air Force this is the all the Turkish section Turkish E's Terminators and all the beautiful squadrons Turkish E's, Terminators, and all the beautiful squadrons, wings. That is the older version. Now we go to my RF 4B's. Uh, this is from. Uh, I guess El Toro and this is another one this is actually a Rival kit built by Howard Weaver but these are true bees flat wings as you see these are all my bees they're all done by Paul Stoner Julius Dano and Jelalitin from Turkey and these are my RFs. These are all American RFs. RF4Cs. And here we come to last one. My German ones. There are some built by different people. These Immelman, Immelmans and the Horsemen are built by Chris, Christopher from Germany, 
and the other ones built by Julio Stano, I think. I have almost 30 more 132 scale F4s in the collection. All of you have seen these, but I had to reclassify the collection. Put the RFs and Gs and Bs and Js in a different places. I tried to put them together, all together in the models, different models. So here it is. There's Cs, there is some RFs, and these are the test bed airplanes. Most of these are Js on the middle, and there are some Es and Cs on the bottom. As you see, these are the, the first F4s ever made, and the bottom a bunch of J squadrons. There's C's in, in the middle, and there is some E's, and there's Air Force on the bottom, three S's. And here we are, there's so much more J's and squadrons, and Marines. There are some Air Force. There are some G's. It's a beautiful aircraft. So, and there is my Japanese collection. There are my Israeli ones. I even have a patch. Ed gave it to me, and these are all Ed's Ed Okun's aircraft. Those are my UK aircraft, British. And, and there are some E's from 388 Tactical Fighter, 388 Tactical Fighter Wing, those are three C's, and these are the, you know, the Zot Decal C's. And there is more of it here with all napalms. And there is more C's from Air Force. And that is the last F4 ever built. 5057 Phantom. That was done by Paul Stoner. There is more F4s, Air Force. This is the, all the Turkish section. Turkish E's, Terminators, and all the beautiful squadrons. Turkish E's, Terminators, and all the beautiful squadrons, wings. That is the older version. Then we go to my RF-4Bs. Uh, this is from, uh, I guess, El Toro. And this is another one. This is actually a Revell kit built by Howard Weaver. But these are true Bs, flat wings, as you see. These are all my Bs. They're all done by Paul Stoner, Julius Dano, and Jelalitin from Turkey. And these are my RFs. These are all American RFs, RF4Cs. And here we come to last one. My German ones, there are some built by different people.
is Immelman's and the Horseman are built by Chris, Christopher from Germany, and the other one's built by Julius Dano, I think. I have almost 30 more 132 scale F4s in the collection. All of you have seen these, but I had to reclassify the collection, put the RFs and Gs and Bs and Js in a different places. I tried to put them together, all together in the models, different models. So here it is. There's Cs, there is some RFs, and these are the test bed airplanes. Most of these are Js on the middle, and there are some Es and Cs on the bottom. As you see, these are the, the first F4s ever made, and the bottom a bunch of J squadrons. There's C's in, in the middle, and there is some E's, and there's Air Force on the bottom, three S's. And here we are, there's so much more J's and squadrons and Marines. There are some Air Force, there are some G's. It's a beautiful aircraft. So, and there is my Japanese collection. There are my Israeli ones. I even have a patch. Ed gave it to me, and these are all Ed's Ed Okun's aircraft. Those are my UK aircraft, British. And, and there are some E's from 388 Tactical Fighter, 388 Tactical Fighter Wing, those are three C's, and these are the, you know, the Zot Decal C's. And there is more of it here with all napalms. And there is more C's from Air Force. And that is the last F4 ever built. 5057 Phantom. That was done by Paul Stoner. There is more F4s, Air Force. This is the, all the Turkish section. Turkish E's, Terminators, and all the beautiful squadrons. Action. Turkish E's, Terminators, and all the beautiful squadrons, wings. That is the older version. Then we go to my RF-4Bs. Uh, this is from, uh, I guess, El Toro. And this is another one. This is actually a Revell kit built by Howard Weaver. But these are true Bs, flat wings, as you see. These are all my Bs. They're all done by Paul Stoner, Julius Dano, and Jelalitin from Turkey. And these are my RFs. These are all American RFs, RF4Cs. And here we come to last one. My German ones, 
there are some built by different people. These Immelmans and the Horsemen are built by Chris, Christopher from Germany, and the other ones built by Julius Dano, I think.